I guess I'd gotten to the point where I was losing a bit of hope. So I left it to Allah and Osman actually sent me, um, I guess we'd matched and then he'd sent me a message. I think it was the 21st of August and then I didn't get back to him to like the 22nd and all he said was something like, hi, are you in London? He'd uh, written something in the bio which said that he goes to the gym, which was like a big tick for me. But he didn't actually go to the gym once we started talking. <laughs> <laughs> we spoke on the phone for around a month. Um, and then we met, we actually met halfway. We met in Reading, so which is like an hour and 45 minutes from Cardiff and an hour and 45 minutes from East London. When we first met, uh, when I saw her, she was looking stunning. She was just like a down-to-earth girl and yeah, like it just clicked. Lockdown definitely affected our relationship. So, we, you know, we weren't really meeting up that much. And, um, but I think that's a blessing in disguise, definitely, because it meant that we could really get to know each other. Obviously, because of lockdown, we weren't able to have the families meet as soon as we would have liked them to. But in December half term, his family came over to my house to ask for my hand. And yeah, it was just super awkward. It was so awkward. <laughs> It's like a first time encounter. Or no like, one spoke. Like nobody talked to no one. <laughs> like we, it was really funny and awkward because we're quite comfortable around each other. So we were just cracking jokes, laughing here and there, and we were just being parents. ourselves. And they were just all looking at us like stuff for a lot, stuff for a lot, stuff for a lot. It was just, it was just funny. <laughs> My nan came over and she just sat there and she went, "So what have you guys decided?" And everyone was just Straight was up, like yeah. nothing. My nan was like, well, do you like the girl? Do you like the boy? We were like, my family was like, yeah. Their family was like, yeah. And she was like, okay, when's the nikah? She was just straight. And I don't think I've ever been grateful, that grateful for my nan and her opinion, because she just summed it all up.